What's this going to do? I want to see how this works. It's been a whoo, unpredictable madness. My name is Peter Lombardo, and this is B-Roll. B-Roll is kind of a weird robot. Its drive is its weapon, and its weapon is its drive. So to move forwards, I spin the robot in kind of an uppercut direction, and the torque reaction of that rolls it forwards on the wheels. In the last time we talked, I said that spinning the drum up made me go backwards and breaking it made me go forward. That was wrong. If you see me kind of driving away from a wall and then suddenly into the wall, it's because I got forwards wrong. <laughs> so, senior year of college, my roommate decided for his final project, I'm gonna build a fighting robot. And I'm watching this all happen and I'm like, oh, that's dumb, I could do that. A year and a half later, I had a 30 pound sportsman called Bees. The whole joke of it was it was in a tube. And there were some outriggers on the side to keep it from tipping over, lifter in the middle. Oh, also seeing noob tube. It was like, I should be doing this. It's very cool, there needs to be more of this in the world. Four main parts. So there's two of these, I call them cups, and it's just directly bolted to the wheel, which is 3D printed TPU. The motors are 35, 36 outrunners, which are like, at full speed. This thing stores like four and a half kilojoules of energy. It's wild. These are all the brains. You got the battery, controller, indicator LEDs. It's all kind of hard soldered. The only connector is for the battery. And then the tube. And that's it. Fight, robots, Here we fight. go. Okay. It's now upside down. They lose a wedge. So we got some bot pieces and B-roll. It's just kind of wheeling in the center there. And now needs an unstick. Their complimentary tap unstick, out. and now we get a tap out. Okay, uh, <laughs> we can't all get dumpsters first time out. <laughs>